Small finals and grand finals of the DCL World Championship coming at you now here with the DCL Grand Final Time. Thunder FPV, Vincent Mines against Marcus Boonia of Singularity with Dark X and Yayu on the X Blade side. Who gets it? Who wins this one? Raider won 17 points to 13. But we're racing on Savvy. How do they go with the other track? We'll start off with the two Raiden pilots, Mines and Espunia, alongside Dark X and Yayu. In this, the grand final, the last races of today for the big haul of points and the big W. And Yayu and Dark X currently in the lead, but there's only half a second in this between everybody. We'll go to the kicker on board with Vincent Mines as he rolls it beautifully through the top of that and has moved up with a spoon of pass Yayu. That's second and third now for Raiden. Here comes the second lap. Dark X makes his way into the triple trees with Mayans three tenths of a second behind him. He'll come for the team speak drop and go up to the fountain spiral and that is great confident flying by him. No problem for Dark X as you would expect. Mines and Espunia in fact are losing a bit of time on him and Espunia's lost a lot of time as Yayu has caught him. Here's Mayans view in second of Dark X in front of him as he comes through Torval and will make his way through the slalom like it's not even there. It's four points for Dark X and three for Mayans and Espunia manages to keep ahead of Yayu It's going to split five all. Five all. Okay. Let's see what happens when we put Andreas FPV, brilliant pilot out of the 2020 debut he made with a, a team that were with us in 2020 called Apex Racing. He was absolutely fantastic with them, made a lot of fans on chat with his GG sign that he used to wave at us all as well. Uh, IQ Zero racing alongside him. And we've got Drobot Racer and Sally E1 racing for X-Blades. Of course, X-Blades have grabbed a lot of points against all the other teams except for Raiden. I think Raiden were the only one who beat them earlier on today. Sally in the front over IQ. This is Andreas' view of his teammates. And Drobot is behind him at the moment. Look how close they all are. Rolling through the monster there. And up. This is our last single heat of today. We've got the big heat to follow this with three laps there. Andreas and IQ in front of both of X-Blades now. That's what they need. IQ still there. One tenth of a second over Andreas. Sally, two, three, before, behind, and now a few more. He's gone backwards. Drobot's gone forwards. Andreas stays in the lead, as we see here. He's rooting to the kicker, but let's look at Drobot's view as he tries to catch him. Drobot finding a lot of time from somewhere. Through Torval, one and two, and he's getting ever closer to Andreas, but the... Slalom is surely not going to separate them. And in fact, Drobot found a tenth of a second between the start of the slalom and the finish gate, but he needed two. The Raider so just got the slight edge ahead. Just slight edge ahead over X-Blades. Ooh, is it gonna is it gonna stay like this? We're gonna find out. Well, it's not gonna stay like this. I'll tell you that, because there's 10 more points being given out. So there's no way it's staying like this. But is Raider gonna stay ahead of X-Blades? Could happen. So X-Blades are two points behind. We've got three laps left. And that's in our big heats when everybody is racing. There's a few places where anyone could come a cropper here. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, the final race of the day. Three laps, the big heat of the grand final with X-Blades. Two points down going into it. So, one, two, three, and it was four briefly. All of them in front of Raiden. But uh, it's all getting moved around. One third of a second is all it takes to go between Dark X and Drobot and everybody else. It's starting to stretch a little bit, as you would expect. Well, we'll head to the kicker with, I think, seven drones in it all at the same time. And a Spoonier has had a little bit of a wobble coming out of it. It is now X-Blades going all over the top of this race. Surely they can't clean sweep Raiden in the last race of our first stop of the year. Currently, it's looking like they could, but IQ is very close. And here's his move. Yeah, he's moved up past Drobot. He's hovering around Sally. There's Mayans, who's in six and starting to move past Drobot as well. The threat is coming on the second lap, and we got three of them. Yayu on his debut, still out in front. No pressure for him. Dark X right with him. And IQ and Mayans are moving up. Look, they're into third and fourth, and it's all starting to work. We're seeing Drobot's view. He's moving. IQ Zero is still in third, but we've got to get some more Raiden pilots moving into the top of this field. Espunia's got a lead. Mayan's got to take his whole team. Andreas has got to get into this race. Drobot coming out of the kicker with IQ in front of him. Dark X just in front of that. Vincent Mayans all the way down at the back. He's not going to make it work for his team. The finish gate is here, and it's Dark X, IQ, Drobot, and Marcus Spunia. I think they've tied it up. There it is, tied up. All right. 
15 all. Oh. It was 17-13 when they raced on the other track in uh, round four of the round robin. It's 15 all here. What does that mean? These will have a bit more. Absolutely. Okay, then. Winner takes all. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy this. The first stop of our World Championship for 2022. Could it be Yayu on his debut who goes and does it? You'd be crazy to count him out. Dark X and Drobot showing us why they're two-time World Champions. Mines, Espunia reigning World Champions right in the fight at this, but it's winner takes all. Dark X currently in the lead. Mines half a second behind him with IQ0 for backup too. Through Torval, they'll go on their first lap and head down towards the, pla uh, the plaza and the slalom here at starting lap number two. Dark X, three tenths of a second in front of Mines, who is coming with Raiden. They are all in the fight at this. IQ dropped back a little bit. You got Mines, you got Espunia and Andreas Klein maybe having a better race than he did just now. But you're thinking it's Mines and Espunia who were helping Raiden so much last season. It could be on their shoulders. Nevertheless, Killian Rousseau, the captain of X-Blades, racing as Dark X out of front, is still in the lead and they haven't caught him yet. Yes, they have. Mines has gone past him. That doesn't count as a commentator curse. That counts as a commentator builder, I think. Down through the drop, Dark X back into the lead. It's going to be him or Mines, the two team captains. One of them's going to take it for their team. Surely Drobot is past Andreas. Espunia has fallen out of the picture. Dark X and Vincent Mines with less than a tenth of a second between them now. Mines trying to catch Dark X. He's got him. He's going to pass him. He's going to Whoa. take the slalom. And the win for Raiden Racing. Look on the side. You see Drobot wondering what happened. Dark X is beaten. X Blades are beaten. Mayans gets it for Raiden. And the champions of the virtual drone Grand Prix of Vodutz in Liechtenstein for 2022. It's Raiden racing.